In this video, we're going to cover how you can customize your mobile experience so that desktop, tablet, and mobile can all have their own look and feel to your liking. So here we are on our homepage. And as you can see here, I am in the desktop view. In the upper right hand corner, if you click on the tablet view here, or the mobile view, you can get a preview of what it will look like on any device. Before we begin, it's important to know how mobile editing works. First, if you make a design change, a style change to your desktop version, your tablet and mobile experience will inherit the desktop view. If you make a change to the tablet view, your mobile view will inherit that style as well. But if you want to customize it even further and make an adjustment change to just your mobile view, you could do that as well. So if you want to make a style change to all three views, always do that in the desktop experience. Let me show you a bit of how this works. So here, I really like the font size for the desktop experience. When I go to tablet, I think it's a little bit too big and I want to make an adjustment. So here you can see while I'm selected on it in the tablet view, it says it's at four rem. I'm going to change that to three and that's actually exactly as I want it to look. Then I'm going to go to mobile and you'll see here, this is set to 2.2. I already customized it so it has a different look and feel. If I go back here to the desktop, still looks the same. And if I go to mobile, you'll see I now have it at 2.2. So it's a custom looking experience just for mobile. But let's say I want to revert it back to the desktop look and feel. Well, here you'll see where it says font size. The text is actually blue. This indicates that you have responsive settings for this property. So in this case, if I click the X, this will change it to inherit the style right above it. So in this case, this is mobile. So it's inheriting the tablet font size. If I go to the tablet experience and you'll see here it's blue again. And if I click on that, it'll take it back up to four. And here you'll see it's at four as well. Now that we understand that, let's customize it back to what we like. And in this case, this will be three. And you'll see here, mobile will inherit that three again, but we're going to change this to 2.3. These features allow you full control to make adjustments and design styles to your site the way you like. The important thing to know is that this only changes the style, but it does not change the content. So if I came in here and added an exclamation point to my mobile styling, if I go to the desktop view, it will also show that. So the content stays the same on all responsive sizes, but the styling can change and adjust to your liking on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Another pro tip is there may be a section or piece of content that you want to show on your desktop version that you may not want to show on, say, your tablet or mobile version. In this case, let's say I want to remove this image from my mobile experience, but I want to keep it on my desktop and tablet view. The way you do that is first you select the item that you'll want to hide. From there, you'll toggle on the advanced setting styles in the top right of your screen. So once this is turned on, I currently have it on right now, you'll get this option in layout to adjust the display style. And currently this one is set to block. And while I'm here in my mobile view, I'll set this to none. So just like that, the image has gone away. And if I go back to the tablet view, it's still there. And if I go to the desktop view, it is still there. This makes it really easy for you to hide elements on your site.